This is golf's greatest fix ever. You will have the best results in the shortest period of time for the least amount of money. Let's go. So do you do this in your golf swing? Let me show you. Here is what we are looking at. Here's our swing plane. Look as we get up to the top. It's pretty good for a while. Here's our club. Great on plane, but oh, oh, where are you going? Where are you going? Where are you going? Where? See how it comes across the line here? Why do you do that? That's the question. Look at my wrist. You see that wrist cupping? How do we get rid of that? Look at that. Look at that. And then you yank that down. Look how steep this is. We don't want that pointing there. We really want that pointing kind of at the ball, but we're not, we're too steep on that. And then we got to drop it to the inside and flip everything. It's a disaster. So how do we fix that? Well, there are a number of training aids out there that you could spend a hundred, 200, 300, uh, hundreds of dollars on, or you can do this. I have a, a Sharpie right here. Look at this little guy, beautiful. It's a thick one, wide one. Guess what I do? I just shove that guy right in my glove, right like this, just like that. Now, I mean, there's some resistance. It does move around. You could do other stuff. You get the idea. Just put something in there. Let's look at the result immediately and see what happens. All right, very next swing. Got the Sharpie in my glove. What do we got? That felt weird. Let's see what it looked like. Let's look at this. Oh, look, flat wrist. Flat, it's flat now. Did I come? Oh, oh my goodness. That's perfect. I didn't come across. Oh my goodness. Where's my swing plane now? Oh my goodness. It's pointed right where it should. Oh my goodness, I come right into that. Look at that. Oh, that's a good impact. Okay, well, that's beautiful. Let's compare that to the previous swing. So here's the one, look at that. This way across the line versus Sharpie in there, perfect. Look at that, that drops right in there. This one gets really loose at the top, way across the line. You can't play golf like that. Look at this, oh, that's perfect. Here's the difference right in here. There, look at, I mean, look at that club. There's such a huge difference, night and day, steep versus perfect. I'll take perfect any day of the week, if you ask me. All right, so you've got the Sharpie in here. Now, here's what a couple things you've got to know as you do this. One is it's gonna feel weird and when you're doing it, you're probably not gonna hit great shots, but keep at it because it's gonna help you get better. Two, as you come back, here's what I want. You're gonna learn proper wrist cock because most people wrist cock this way and they cup a little bit and they do that because that just feels like the wrist cock when you're in this position, but in reality, that's it, and it really feels like that club's going way behind you. All because you've got this. Now you know that it, this is proper wrist cocking, not this. So get yourself a little Sharpie, put it in there, and hit some shots. You will be amazed at the results. Then, before you click off, you gotta know this when you go to the course so you can do it when you're playing. Now, here's what's awesome. Let me show you uh, the differences here of actually what's going on in terms of your swing path. When you do what you normally do, this is what's going to happen with your, with your swing. Because we're looking at specific numbers here. Look at my club path. It's three degrees inside out. That's a lot. That's so I, I, you get across the line and you pull it in, which brings the club back here, and then you flip it like that. Now, if your hands are really good, good hands, and your timing is really awesome, you could play. You could play some good golf like that. But you're gonna be really inconsistent a lot of the time. Here's how dramatically a little Sharpie, which you already have at home, you got something like that, okay? Get a dang um, spoon out of your, you got stuff, so put it in there. All right, this is dramatic change right out of the gate of your swing. So let's look at my club. Oh, 
Look at this. Club path is 0.4. My face is 0.6. It curved one foot to the right. A one foot, I can, we could play golf like that. If your swing path is good, you're gonna figure stuff out pretty quickly. Maybe you're leaving the face open that day. So guess what? Oh, just aim a little left. At least your path is consistent just by this. Now, what do you do when you get on the golf course? Let me show you. I always warm up like this these days. I take two tees and I just put them in my glove. I just put little tees in because I just want to feel it a little bit. Just a little feeling right there. I know something's in there, so my brain is like, hey, we got, we got something in there. Beautiful. There we go. That felt really good. Oh, look at my club path. Okay, good, 0.8, that's perfect. You see, oh, but my face was open. Well, guess what, like we just talked about, you can deal with that on the golf course. Just put your tee right there, do a little practice swing, you know, do your thing. Take it out, so you're not cheating, and then you're good to go. Now I felt it, that's my pre-shot routine, we're good to go. Little 1.8, okay. So that one's a little draw. As you get comfortable with it, you'll get better and better and better, and you'll be amazing. Your club path will be perfect. And your, it's all stemming from getting too loose, as they say, at the top of your swing. Quickest, easiest, fastest results, cheapest price, can't go wrong. Give it a try. Thanks for watching. Love you guys. See you next time.